Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So, currently, I am about to dice this wafer here. It's a six inch wafer, by the way. And I have to attach the wafer, the substrate. I have to attach a tiny piece of it, about 35 by 35 millimeters, onto this CMOS sample here. I'll have, let you have a peek. So, that's gonna be attached to there. I'm gonna have it sonicated over here. Um, so, usually, what I do here, I'll bring it a little bit closer, is I make a measurement. Some people use inches, some of us like to use millimeters, measure. For some reason, you can have your own, you know, six inch dummy wafer, as we call it. <laughs> but regardless, sticking with metric here, I have this about 35 millimeters by 35 millimeters, and that should fit about two inches of, of a diagonal. I've scribed into it already, so you can hear that sound maybe. Maybe. The scratching noise. So I, I scratched the edge a bit with this diamond tip of a, a pen. And then I take a somewhat thick uh, needle nose plier or, well not a plier, this is a tweezer I have that's non-magnetic. It says here it's anti-magnetic, anti-acid. Regardless, it's a stainless steel plier and the thick is, the, the thickness on the edges is a little more than a typical tweezer that we have. So this is gonna give me some room. Also note that I have two, two of these, what we call cleaner wipes. It's like a paper towel kind of thing. So the thickness is gonna allow me to, to bend this, this wiper down a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is press into the edge here. I'm gonna hold on to it underneath this wafer and then I'm gonna press on it and then voila. So all I did was I pinched the underside like this into the sample and then the wafer the wafer goes in here like this and then I hold on to it and then I press on both sides of the wafer and then the crystal direction will allow me to slice into this very easy. Now I'm going to slice another one. I'm going to pinch it again, move this out of the way, and then I'm going to press down on it on both sides, making sure that making sure that the the thickness of this acts kind of like a fulcrum. So the fulcrum allows this to press on both sides. It allows my finger to press both sides, causing a break that's going to go all the way through. And so now we have this long piece of silicon wafer ready to be used. Now, normally, if I was going to be if I was going to use this for depositing materials, metal, and things like that on this substrate, then what I would do beforehand is actually put a layer of photo resist material like a polymer that's going to protect it it's going to be a, a temporary protective layer so that none of these microscopic pieces of broken silicon is going to go underneath and scratch it so this is going to be just a dummy piece a dummy dummy substrate <laughs> it's only there for supportive surfaces supportive purposes so that I can put this bigger piece on it and then tape it down with some Kapton tape or polyamide tape and then we can move on to the next step so just thought I'd show that to you hopefully you get some new experience in this 360 view <laughs> all right see you around